is Laura Landon, and I live in Hope. Literally, literally. <laughs> not even 20 years old, and yet for 18 of those years we have been at war. We don't hear a lot about it because we have, um, we have a voluntary military, so it's not before the eyes of the public as often as it should be. Um, you also know that there have been two votes for authorized use of military force, one in 2001 in response to the 9-11 attack. Um, I appeal to you now to repeal that 2001 AUMF. There was no sun sunset clause. There was no geographic limitation placed on that authorization. And according to a 2018 Congressional Research Service report, that authorized 2001 AUMF has been used by the executive branch as authority for 41 operations in 19 countries with another 61 nations hosting sites for military exercises and bases at a cost of $5.9 trillion. Uh, the other authorization for military force you voted against, and thank you for that, that was in 2002 to justify um, attack on Iraq with whom we are no longer at war. Congress currently is reconciling the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, and among the differences between the House and Senate versions is an amendment prohibiting extending the 2002 AUMF to Iran, where tensions are currently high. And I ask you, Representative Langevin, to urge support among your colleagues who may, colleagues who may be on the conference committee to retain the Kana Gets Amendment in the final version of the NDAA so that the 2002 AUMF is not extended from Iraq to Iran. Thank you. Thanks.